Hi everyone. Um, today is uh, Thursday, um, April 21st, and I just wanted to say thank you for um, tuning in and uh, watching my channel. Um, I wanted to thank uh, the new viewers as well, and um, I'm just testing out some things here, doing some night filming. So. Um, we're just testing some lighting and uh, um, seeing how sort of the makeup projects. There's, I'm not wearing any makeup, um, so we're doing some technical testing things while I speak. So um, I just wanted to say um, that I did upload a video about um, how we felt when we first heard about the passing of of um, Prince. And, uh, you know, we were like, that's just no passing. That's actually another murder. So, um, you know, what we did is we set up a, a tribute page. And um, we're going to do that for um, the artists that we feel um, really represent the essence of something called Black Soul in their artistry related to television, film, and... Um, multiple instruments music. So um, we set up this tribute page for Prince and um, didn't want to take this away from um, Miss Jada Pinkett. Um, we also set up a tribute page for her work, um, especially around her, her film work, her television work, and um, her videos about how to um, maintain sort of that collective black self-esteem and, you know, her, her little videos, I shouldn't say her little videos, but her, her substantial videos about, um, how she manages, you know, just having a very large profile and, uh, you know, managing, like, work and life and, you know, loyalty, <coughs> excuse me, to the black community. So um, we're setting up these tribute pages and we're going to start chronicling the data because one of the things that I found when I was just looking at different things on the internet is that when it comes to interpretations of our soul music, it's not coming from us, it's coming from another perspective that for some reason is very clear that they can't feel the soul in the music that's being presented, for example as well as like for instance um Miss Pinkett she did direct the film um Secret of the Bees and um I don't even know if it was up for any awards so we're like okay we're going to move into that space and we're going to see if we can get some um well we're not going to see we're going to get them we're going to get um blood free jewels and um we're going to put a really nice award package together and uh, we're going to come from the Canadian perspective and say, okay, you know what, thank you for um, acknowledging who we are as well, um, transcontinentally. So our executive team, um, there's myself, I'm sort of spearheading everything. And uh, what I did was I assembled um, an executive team, like an executive advisory team, and uh, so far there's 30 people on it and I think that's pretty good to work with like 30 angles um, towards a mission I think is really good um, I did try something like this back in 1996 and I worked with um, was it 12 or 15 people I think it was 12 people it was fabulous but one person um, sort of uh, started doing plagiarism stuff and then I just closed the project because um, it hurt. It hurt me. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you that update, and um, I'll definitely follow up some more. But, uh, you know, we're reaching out to the U.S. as well, and we want to, you know, say that we truly appreciate the work that you do. Um, it's such a shame that we couldn't even catch Prince, because Prince spends a lot of time in Toronto, Canada, and um, but he's around really shady people. And when we say shady, um, you know, you've got that little white girl that's hanging around and, you know, she's giving everybody dirty looks and it's like, 
who the fuck is that? Like, fuck off, you know? <laughs> so, um, I can't even say rest in peace. I, I can't, I don't say that shit. Um, I have to say there will be no peace until there is punitive jurisprudence or justice, let's say. Sorry, I don't have any, um, makeup on and got some Vaseline, va not Vaseline, but some kind of lubricant thing on my thing, so sorry about that. But, um, again, this is a test video. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So, um, we want to show our appreciation. So, if you'd like to forward this to either, um, Miss Pinkett, um, Mr. Kravitz, who else do we have? We have a list of people. Um, there's the office and the work of Dr. Masazumi Haran in Japan, who apparently there's some rumor again that he is also another one who's all of a sudden was found dead. And uh, he did a lot of work around um, Grassy Narrows back in the 1960s, late 60s, early 70s, um, flying from Japan to Canada, Ontario, to find out what the heck this problem was, why the Canadian government did not want to, um, for example, deal with the, it was called Minamata disease, and um, it was a natural disaster. It was also a health health um, epidemic, epidemic, and um, the Canadian government did nothing. And um, so we're also going to get into that, as well as um, who else do we have? Like, I was just sitting down and you know writing you know a list of like people that we need to really get in touch. Percy Sledge was another one. He's gone. Um, Mr. Heron, he's another one. He's gone. So, um, we're going to try and catch them and um, see if we can somehow get some kind of arrangement made where we sort of like oversee what's happening because in the case of Prince, um, he had a similar problem as Mr. Jackson where the works were being held against them and all of a sudden Jackson ended up dead and these little kids... I don't even know who the fuck those kids are, but that female one, like, she's very, very disrespectful and doesn't even represent any of what the essence and soul of Mr. Jackson is, that also came out in his music from way back when. So, um, we're just trying to see if we could set up some kind of something whereby uh, we can get into these pockets before death crisis and um, you know like when you look at like autopsy reports and stuff and you know um, going into morgues and um, you know seeing what the fuck is going on the people that work in these places they all look the same which is very very strange they all think the same and you know it's a very very tight group and I have some problems with that so and I'm not the only one in the world that has a problem with that. So, um, thank you so much for watching my video. This is just a little update and a test. And um, if you'd like to get in touch with me, um, just email me at uh, goosecanada at gmail.com. Um, you can send me a message. Um, I'll try, not that I'll try, I am going to do actually video response responses because I think that model will work a lot better than trying to read through everything and type and, and uh, you know, I'll just mention people's names and say thank you or, you know, what do you want, right? So, anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Have yourself a really nice morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And, um, you know, let's big up um, Miss Pinkett. Oh, Queen Latifah, she's another one. Um, Regina King, Vi Vivica Fox, um, that lady who was in the, um, what's her, that, uh, oh, is it Stevie Wonder? Ray Charles, sorry, Ray Charles is another one. Ray Charles, there was that dark-skinned black woman that was in that movie about Ray Charles. I would love to get in touch with her and, and interview her. 
um, and uh, you know try and develop some things where we can also big her up as well so uh, she was really really good excellent actress so thank you so much for watching and uh, have yourself a really nice um, evening thanks